Hi, my name is Ken Buck and I'm a Solution Architect for Alitech. In this video, I'll present a short demonstration of our newest method to upgrade card readers in the field, the configuration card. My camera is on and presented here is our standard TWN4 reader along with our new TWN4 configuration card programmer. Alongside are a previously used configuration card and two test cards, an HID 26-bit prox card and a Honeywell NextWatch card. The TWN4 reader is currently configured to send the card number in hexadecimal format. Let me just show you that. Okay, and what I'd like to do now is to create a configuration card and then use it to reconfigure the TWN4 reader to send the card number in decimal. Let's open up App Blaster from the new 304 development pack and let's select Configurable Project. Let me disconnect the standard TWN4 reader from my PC and connect the TWN4 programmer. Since I now have the TWN4 programmer connected to my computer, two new selections appear, Create Configuration Card and Read Card Info. Let's create a custom configuration. Let's select LF, then HID Prox, then Add, and then let's select Next Watch and Add. The Prox card is a 26-bit card, and we want to use standard Wigan decoding. Decimal five-digit output. And for the Honeywell Next Watch card, it's a 31-bit card, and we want to decode that as 4, 27, and eight decimal digit output. Because we want to display the output in Notepad, we're going to select Keyboard as our template. And because we want to be able to use configuration cards to reprogram this reader in the future, we select that option. Next, we place a configuration card over the writer, and we select Create Configuration Card. And since I've previously used this card, it's prompting me to overwrite it. Okay, we're done. Let me disconnect the TWN4 programmer from my PC and connect the standard TWN4 reader. Okay, let's reconfigure the reader. We set the card on top of it. Okay, it's reconfigured. There's the reboot. Okay, let's open Notepad and test the cards. There's the output and it matches the number printed on the card. There's the output and it matches the number printed on the card. This concludes our demo of App Blaster 304 and configuration card programming. If you'd like a more in-depth overview of configuration card usage, please check out the configuration card programming tutorial. Thanks for watching.